<laughs> I had no idea, but today was a good day. Um, I'd like to mention the Saddlers and the Foltzes. You know, today was about them. Uh, this is this is a game for them, and definitely I'd like to thank my performance to Mike and Sam out there. It means a lot that I go out there and represent them well. Early in the year at Northwestern, you had that little rough patch there, but since then you've been perfect. I mean, what, what has changed for you since that day in Evanston, um, you know, about five weeks ago? Uh, definitely just trusting in what I do and just having fun out there and just believing in myself. <laughs> um, I mean, not not really. Maybe my last game in high school, but not not the same way as today. Did they carry you all the way in the locker room? No, they didn't carry me to the locker room. I, I jogged in. I was excited. could do it by myself. Hey, Derek, take us through the goal, going out there on the field, 37 yards in the We just went out there like, like we do for any other kick, we just cleared off the ground to just make sure we get a good ball off and just played a little bit of wind and hoped it would go in. <laughs> was, it, was it playing straight behind, like behind you basically or was it pushing the ball one way? Or the uh, for that one it was kind of on a diagonal so it was like left to right so we aimed it at the left post and let it carry back into the middle. Did you know you had it? Um, I mean once I saw it moving back right I knew it was going in on that one. Mm -hmm. What did Coach Frost say to you before that one? Um, honestly, like, not a whole lot. Just just have faith in myself and just go out there and do my thing. Have you kicked in the snow before? I have not. This is my first time playing in the snow. What did you think? Uh, it was a little cold out there, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. How tough were the conditions? Uh, it was definitely a pretty strong wind out there, and it's definitely not the easiest thing when the ground's frozen. It's just stuff like that. Uh, we were just mainly just figuring out all the wins and what we think would happen throughout the day and just play around with it all for any type of kick. Where were you hitting from before the game on that side of the field? Like, what was your distance? I was hitting from about, like, 45 and in going into that breeze, but it was definitely tough. Sometimes, like, a gust would come and it would blow hard, like, right to left over there. So when you – it was 47, did you think that's about a max, max distance? Oh, well, going, going that way, I – I, like with so that 47 we were going with the breeze. Um, I hit some like 50 plus balls like in warm up. So I was just playing like the winds and that, just feeling it out. But I knew I could hit the range on that one. You surprised yourself at all? Touch back into the wind there to start the. <laughs> I was mainly just trying to hit it over to the right, and then the wind was blowing hard across the field, so it carried it in the middle, and I was a little nervous there because that could be big, big trouble. If we just hit it right up the middle, but it kept carrying through the breeze. Was that the strongest, was that the strongest wind uh, you've seen in Lincoln since you've been here? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, the strongest wind I've kicked in. I don't know how strong it's been just walking around campus, but yeah. You talked after a couple games and you criticized yourself for not kicking that well. How nice is it to, I don't know, kick well in <laughs> the game and feel good afterwards? It definitely feels a lot better than having a bad game, but I'm my biggest critic and I still want to keep getting better from here. It means a lot just sending those guys off of the win. Uh, I care about them a whole lot. I care about all my brothers out here on the field, and I just wanted to see them get that win so bad. Anything else for Barrett? Great. Thank you. Thank you.